In this Grasshopper tutorial, I will be demonstrating how to use a Python node in order to customize your Grasshopper scripts. So the first thing that I'll do is print hello world by opening up the editor and typing out print hello world. And let's just test that. You can see it was successful because hello world popped up on the console and if I type in slash slash to create a panel and I hook it up to this output, you can see that hello world is also coming out of the output. So it is nice to leave this output variable here so that you can debug using um, print statements. However, all these other variables can be deleted and adjusted. And so um, how can I use one of these variables inside my script? Well, I can print x and then plug in a value of three to x and now if i test my code you'll see that three is printing out and if i want to have my output a be x squared i can just say a equals x squared and that is the syntax for squared in Python, or you could of course just write x times x. And now let's test it. And you'll notice that we have an error. And the error is because right now, Python doesn't know what kind of variable x is. So if you right click here and select type hint and say that it's a number, for instance, an integer or a float, which is just like an integer with a decimal, then uh, Python is happy, and now you're capable of running your own Python scripts. And if you want to access any Rhino functionality, you can just type rs dot, and you'll see all of these Rhino functions built in ready for you to use. For instance, if you wanted to create a point, you could just type create point, and this is the beauty of Python within Grasshopper. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.